Hi, I'm Kelsey Rothhaus. Welcome to Behind the Hype with Cal TV Sports. I'm here with siblings Maddie and Nick Kerr. Maddie of the volleyball team, Nick of the basketball team. So Maddie, starting with you, you've had a lot of success on the volleyball team, starting libero since you were a freshman, fifth all-time Cal's Diglis, and you have the opportunity to get that top ranking level your senior year. What are your expectations for yourself and for your team in a tough Pac-12 conference? Um, I think we're going to be a lot better this year. Um, practice has been really good in the spring and everybody's made really big strides. Um, definitely the conference is really competitive, so you never know, but I think I've seen like significant progress, so I'm really looking forward to it and I really want to see how we match up. And Nick, you just had your senior night, mm -hmm. packed Haas Pavilion, you scored the three at the end of the game, the crowd went wild, your family was there to watch. What did it mean to you to have that be the moment that like ended your basketball career? I mean, it was awesome first because it took me three tries, so it was nice of <laughs> my teammates to keep passing me the ball and eventually a new one would go in, but it was awesome, just such a huge crowd and my dad, he, that was the first game he'd been to all year, so for him to finally, that was, the last game I played and so for him to see the last play of my basketball career really meant a lot. Absolutely. There's mm -hmm. that great picture of the two of you. I saw that went around. You guys are high-fiving oh, yeah. each other after the game. He looks very proud. <laughs> I, they got mad I didn't give them hugs. I didn't, I, mean, <laughs> I, was, I, I was, Maddie was mad, but I didn't, like I sweated, so I didn't really want to get, get them dirty, gross. but you know. High five they were worked, upset. Got the picture. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> so your dad, Steve Kerr, is coaching the Warriors 20 minutes away. But back in 2014, it really looked like he was going to be maybe taking the job in New York with the Knicks. Maddie, you were here at Cal already at that time, and you got the text from him when you were walking into a final at Cal yeah. saying, hey, I'm going to the Warriors. <laughs> what was your first impression there? Well, I was really excited, but then I was, like, so distracted going into the final that I don't even remember taking the final. And I literally, like, all summer or whatever, however many weeks until the – our grades came back, I was like, I totally failed that because I had no, I couldn't even remember taking it. Um, but yeah, I was just really excited and I couldn't even believe it because we were kind of mentally preparing for him to be gone like so far away and like to only see him a couple times a year or whatever. So it was just, it was kind of a crazy turnaround to, to kind of realize that he would be so close and we'd see him like every week. Yeah, very so. drastic. He was maybe yeah. gonna go cross country and then he was basically following you to college. And it's worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nick at that point, okay, so your dad's at the Warriors, Maddie's at Cal, you wrapped up your undergrad career at University of San Diego. You had one more year of eligibility left for basketball. At that point, is Cal just the obvious choice or do you consider any other um, schools? At the, at the time that he, si uh, he signed with the Warriors, I wasn't sure that I was going to be transferring. I still had two years. If I'm not going to play, I might as well come up here, get to learn from my dad about coaching, be part of a, a great team at Cal. And I made that decision pretty much during the, my final year at USD. Okay. Yeah. And you, because you've been here, you guys have both been able to go to lots of Warriors games. Now, Wednesday night, your dad coached the Warriors to their 73rd win, breaking the NBA record for the most wins in a regular season, beating his own record <laughs> from when he was a player on the Chicago Bulls from the 95-96 team. He's on both sides of history, two of the greatest teams in the history of basketball, are you both in awe, just like the rest of us of that? Or have you guys just kind of grown up, your dad's always been very successful, worked really hard, and you're kind of used to that, Nick, I guess, starting with you. Um, it's kind of crazy, like, when you really think about it, that he's been part of the two most winning teams ever, but I never really think of him any differently at home, or even when he's coaching, we just kind of think, oh, there's our dad. Like, it's not anything we're in awe of, and really, we just think he's been in the right place at the right time. He's <laughs> yeah. been lucky enough to played with Michael Jordan, played with Tim Duncan and coach Steph and Draymond right. and Clay. So he's really, he's pretty lucky. He's definitely, he's earned it, but he's always been in the right spot. <laughs> and Maddie? I kind of agree completely. I don't even know what to add. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly you guys are close knit family. We're gonna maybe test that a little bit with a game here. So gonna grab the signs really quick. Oh, perfect. Okay, so Nick, this one is for you. Oh Maddie, this is for you. I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions. Just hold up the sign that you think uh, suits best. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? Okay. So you're currently living with each other at Cal. You obviously grew up with each other. Who is the messiest? <laughs> hey, Nick's owning up to it. Nick is the messiest. I'm not even messy, but every time there's one dish in the sink, Maddie yells at me for having not cleaned for weeks. So <laughs> apparently, I'm extremely messy. I don't know. 
Um, who's more likely to get mad at a ref after a bad call in a game? Ooh. Can we say both? Both. Both, both, of us. both have that competitive yeah. edge. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe him. Eh. I get pretty I don't mad. know. Did, he used did they to make like bad try to calls pay me to volleyball? get yellow cards in soccer. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did I actually? Did I have money to pay you though? I think no, I, I think just lied. I just lied. Yeah. But, um, probably both. To be of aggressive. Us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Family similarities there. Uh, who would be a better coach? Okay, Nick, better coach. Why do you think so? Um, Natty's a little intense, and. <laughs> I don't He's know. Patient. And I'm yeah, and I'm You're patient. more patient. Yeah. I know you guys are big Game of Thrones fans, right? Okay, so a little bit of a oh, spoiler yeah. alert. Hopefully everyone's <laughs> watched this already. Um, who was more upset when it looked like Jon Snow was killed? Probably was it me? Probably me. It was you. But we watched it at different times. You watched it at I different times. I had to times. catch up. You had to catch up. So okay. He, I don't know. I had it spoiled for me. I was watching on oh, time but like the wow. week before like I was reading one of those previews and I didn't realize that I had spoilers. Like, yeah, Jon Snow like, dies. I was so mad. <laughs> wow. So you guys must be so excited for the next season to come back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We you, have it all fan, marked right? on our calendar. I love Game of yeah, Thrones, we're, yeah. We're excited. <laughs> Very excited. Our whole family watches it. All together, if you can. Well, this will be the first time we've yeah. ever been all caught up together. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. And it'll be right during the playoffs, so we'll Busy watch time. We're rush after. home from games to watch, <laughs> watch Game of Thrones. Of episodes. Great. Um, who got into trouble more as a kid? Maddie, <laughs> troublemaker. Why do you think so? I was just brattier than him. You're brat. He's True. pretty quiet. The attitude. Would, like everyone thought he was this nice kid, so he never got in trouble. I like, mean, and he would. They were right. He would do things, and my mom like would never be mad at him, but she would always get mad at me because she didn't have any patience. I don't know what she's me. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> final question. This might be a big one. Who is the most athletic? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are a very athletic family, so let's just leave that one at a tie, maybe. Yeah? Sure. We'll leave it at a Probably tie. Good call. <laughs> Good call. Okay. We don't well, need to argue this one. <laughs> thank you guys so much for being on the show. Hey, thank really you for having us. Thank you. Before we go, we do have a special member of the Kerr family who wants to come and say a quick hi. Everybody meet Maddie's new puppy, Luna. <laughs> it is adorable. Ten weeks old. Just got her. Had to get her on camera for a little bit. Tune in next time, and don't forget to check out our past videos on the Cal TV Sports YouTube channel. They told me, surprisingly, I could pick any guy on the team to shoot for me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I looked over, and I saw that beautiful mustache looking right at me, <laughs> and I was like, Jabari Bird. I see you walking over. I see the confidence.